The back part of our property is a sort of wildernessy area that most of the summer was covered in poison ivy, but recently our neighbor took a brush hog back there for us and mowed down quite a bit for us so that we can go explore back there and see what there is to see. There's quite a few cedar trees out there, which are a little bit of a problem for the apple trees that I'll talk about in another video, but I decided to cut down some cedar boughs to use for our family's advent wreath this year. When I was a little girl, my family lived in Germany for three years, and one of the traditions that we brought back with us was the German Advent celebration. Each Sunday evening, our family sits down and we light our Advent wreath, and we enjoy some time in the calm with the lights turned down low, and and the part that may be my kids' favorite is that we always have some sort of treats with it as well. I clipped all the greens into small pieces. I used some fir, pine, and cedar to make a really fun textured look to this wreath. If you watch my video on constructing the dried flower wreath, it's the same process with the evergreens. I clipped all the greens into small pieces and then just made little bundles and attach those bundles one at a time, wrapping each bundle to the frame with wire. Advent starts on the fourth Sunday before Christmas, and each Sunday we gather around our Advent wreath or our Advent cons and we light a candle, just one candle the first week and one more candle each week as we get closer to Christmas. The Germans celebrate the coming of St. Nicholas on December 6th. And so on Christmas day, they are celebrating the coming of the Christ child. We like the symbolism of the candles that we start out with only one candle lit and get, it gives us just a small amount of light. So as we get closer to Christmas, the wreath is giving off more and more light. The Sunday before Christmas, when we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, there are four candles lit, and so it's the brightest. And that is a good reminder to us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and that is what we celebrate at the Christmas time. The Germans say a little rhyme when they light the candles. Advent, Advent, ein Kerzlein brennt. Erst eins, dann zwei, dann drei, dann vier, dann steht das Christkind vor der Tür. And this means, Advent, Advent, a little candle burns, first one, then two, then three, then four, then stands the Christ child at your door. If you're looking for ways to light the world this Christmas season and share the light that you have with others, check out the link below. I'll link to a list of 50 ideas of ways that you can share the light this Christmas season.